So welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. It is March 6th, um, 2019. And Kieran Chouherty, that's how I've always said your name. Is that right or not? Uh, no. Chaudhary. Chaudhary, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. I heard you telling somebody, you never mind. Anyway, um, who teaches at Harvest, and we taught together many years ago. And um, we are going to use this time together to kind of go through all the exciting, boring, wonderful details. Some of them are boring and some are wonderful. Um, around getting youth, her students who are in a poetry class, up and ready to do a couple of playlists on LRNG. Does that yeah. sound right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll be there on Friday to kind of see how that this, some of this works out. But um, Karen was part of our um, Sandboxes for Learning group now a couple of years ago and um, built a playlist or two, at least one. And um, around a poem, around where, where I'm from. Um, and it, it's, it's not only you, everybody's kind of like jumping into it a little bit and then pulling back and then jumping back and forth. What I'd love to see what we could do tonight, and this is an experiment sort of, is we need to see how LRNG can work in a school classroom. Right. But it, So that's the big introduction. Do you want to introduce yourself? And I'll get some things set up here. Okay. I'm Kieran Chaudhary, and I teach at Harvest Collegiate High School in Manhattan, near Union Square um, in New York. And I teach ninth and 10th grade combined in uh, English class. And it's uh, two periods long, a total of 100 minutes. Um, and this semester, I'm teaching a course I call The Power of Poetry. Um, and the uh, students are reading, writing, performing, and listening to poetry. The reading um, involves uh, close reading. Um, and then in addition to reading and writing, performing and listening to poetry, they're also um, doing independent reading, um, the first 30 minutes where they read widely. All right. Um, and yeah, so um, I could, so one of the things where we could start, let's start mm -hmm. with the boring part, right? Um, I set up a group for you and you should maybe follow along on your screen and I mean on your own computer mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah so this is um you know if, if people are watching this and you're really interested in how LRNG works and so forth this will be really important to you if you're not okay. yeah that's okay <laughs> anyway so I set up a group for your I think there are 44 in this group you see this group here? So I'm logging into. Okay, um, I'll wait for you. Yeah. yeah. As a um, as an org, right? Not as a student. Should I go back and do that? Or are you um, good with that? I uh, need. Oh, I'm okay. an organization. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then you go to groups. Are you good with that? Groups, I'm in. Okay. And if you scroll down, you should find um, Harvest Spring 2019. Cool. Right. Now here's the deal. Now here's the deal. They all received an email saying, "Join us," cool. uh, right? But they received that quite a while ago, and it's probably not working anymore. So we'll have to reinvite them. Okay. But the thing is, it's normal for a kid not to respond to the email yeah. so, unless they're told to, right? <laughs> right. 
So we'll have to do that. So in class, I will have them search up that email. Well, no, let's re-invite them and then it'll be right at the top. So let me show you that first. Okay, so I'm... You can well, do I'm, it. Uh, the, well, do you want to re-invite them? So I should to, hit name? Yeah. Mm. I think you can hit all of them if you hold shift down. And hit, oh, why can't you hit all yeah, of them? Yeah, I hit name. Oh, name, yeah, they have, they all go up. Yep, and then you and hit then I'm re reinvite. Re but hold on. Um, then next. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you did already? That's no. fine. Okay. I'm just wondering if you want to um, wait until like right the moment right before they're going to respond to the email, such as on Friday morning. But it doesn't matter. You can reinvite them. Reinvite them. No. Uh, yeah. Let's do it now. So it's okay. going to come from support at LRNG. It won't come from me. That's right. It'll come from support at LRNG. So, so they need to know that. LRNG. Yeah. Yeah. Or support. Now what you have to know is that when they join, they have to they have to create their own username. We have no control over that. Um, and they have to create their own password. And they have to put in a zip code. I tell them they can either use their home or the school zip code, doesn't matter. Um, and they have to put in a, I said password, username, password, zip code. Oh, they have to put their birth date in too because LRNG okay. wants to make sure they're older than 13. So do tell them to do that seriously because if they put in a date that looks younger than 13, it, it'll cause a problem. <clears throat> okay. So it is setting up their own account. It's called activating the account. Okay. Cool. Okay, now, I don't know if you have a student account. Do you ever remember if we ever did that? Um, let me double check. So this is how you would do it. I'm sharing my screen still, yeah. So- Okay, I'm still on my screen. Okay, but um, on the video, I'm sharing my screen if you- Okay. Okay. So now I'm clicking in as, as a user. And you wanted to say this to the youth, also to your students also. When they log in from now on, they want to go in with the Google login. And I'm okay, I'm looking at your screen. Uh, which is probably good enough. And I'll check Should later. I Go ahead, what? So I shouldn't right now uh, check if I have a student account? You can if you want, or you could just follow along. Let's okay, follow, follow along. along. Okay. So on here, there are four um, tabs, right? I see. And on, on the second tab. So now I'm going to shift to doing uh, places we love. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Okay. So yeah. I they won't have these things saved here. Um, I could. Right. Do you want me to quickly? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll quickly unbook, unbookmark all these so it'll look like what they will have. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> unbookmark. So in theory, if you have a student account, it, it is useful to have a student account for yourself, too. I just don't know if I hooked you up or not on that. So I'll, I'll double check that. So, you know. All right. So it will look something like this when they go to their dashboard, right? Cool. And I think we wanted them to do the bio one. Is that? Okay. This is what it will look like. Yes, yeah, so they search for bio. So there's right. not, okay, there's three. Search yeah. for bio, yes. I don't know why, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't know what, it's archived. And they can either click on it and then, our, then bookmark it or they can just bookmark it like that, hitting this little red thing that drags that is in the corner, right? 
So if they click on it, though, it automatically gets. So bookmarked. if they click on it, they can no, they can see what to do, and then they can bookmark it up here. Okay, I get it. Just right. um, then that appears on the dashboard. I I kind of want to say, okay, there are going to be three playlists that you're going to work on. I'm just working through what we might say on Friday. I'm assuming yeah. that's when they'll do this. Okay. Um, so we're going to get you going with these three playlists. Now, if you think that's too much to do, tell me, and we can not do this first one. Um, should I stop and think about that, or...? I like doing the first one because it um, it cues them in. Oh, we're making this. Oh, I'm going to be featured on. I'm um, now introducing myself um, mm. because I'm hoping that there's a overlap between um, this bio uh, um, assignment and the assignment I have for them to write. Oh, that's right. You already have it as a poet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But did, did they start that yet or not? No. Oh, okay. I thought they started something. Wasn't there some letter or something they wrote? Yes. Yeah. They wrote a letter to me and they um, uh, took a survey describing themselves. So they have that data. Um, so they don't have to come out of the blue, but your questions, write three paragraphs. Yeah. Um, it's, you're saying that the stuff is coming off of the schooling community survey. Um, maybe that has good stuff. I, I wouldn't worry about it. I, I, I think it's more important. The most important thing for this playlist is that they do it really fast and that they get and if they already have writing about themselves, I think they should use that. So I think you could just say, you know, look at the first two paragraphs, you know, write that right now quickly. <laughs> and then for the third yeah. paragraph, what we're calling the third paragraph, go back to that other writing you've done already. Yeah. Okay. They haven't done that writing yet. They would have to fashion it. I mean, they have done some writing. Okay, maybe they have. They have done the writing. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So worth noting, um, what they have to turn in is a public Google document, right? Yeah. So they're turning. that's the first thing they're turning in, and they add a web link to that Google document. Right? Yeah. You good with that? Um, yeah. There is this little dance about how to make it public, a public, a document public, but that's explained here. Um, I can also help with that, and it can just spread virally through your class. <laughs> I, you know, as as kids get to know that, I think that's usually how it works. Just looking at the second XP, they are asked to record it. Mm. Now. What I think is interesting about that in your class is that you do want them sort of performing, yes. not sort of, performing poetry, right? Yeah, and getting used to recording themselves reading on the, doing audio recordings and right. video recordings. But as you can imagine, what we found is that having a room for them to go to to do that is helpful. Um, just something to think about. And or having a printout of their of their bio and doing it at home on their phone, however they want to do it. But they need to get a recording and then put that up. What if you what if they have um headphones and so they're in the noisy classroom but they're recording with the um mic on it can work. It's just that it's hard to um I don't know. I think yeah, it's hard. <laughs> you feel like people are listening to you. <laughs> it's hard to, you know, you need your, I don't know. Yeah, so work that out. This online voice recorder works really well, by the way. 
Mm. Um, so um, gives you a nice MP3. Vokuru does too. Mm. Um, so there's that. Um, they can go ahead and post without it at first, and then you know a week later say, okay, I'm I'm going to try to get my recording up now, right? Mm -hmm. But so that's possible. And then the other thing is to go into Youth Voices and find other bios and other bio or bio Ls, um, and respond to those folks. This introducing commenting, right? How to comment yeah. to somebody else. So again, I like that guy. Right. But the idea is, okay, write something fast, get it up, do some recording. There is that little <laughs> um, twist there, the recording part. But then, you know, get involved in commenting on Youth Voices. So they're going to be posting poems on Youth Voices too. So yeah, this introduces all that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, I so now I'm going to search for, and if well, let me just see if you're. Let's look at the the two playlists that we put together, and then see if it fits what you want to do. Does that oh, sound right? Yeah. Okay. They are. If I look for, um, I'm making sure this works for them too. Um, Right. Oh, places we live. Uh, say it again. Places we love. So this would be on my. Um, I would have to see this on the student dashboard, or. Yes. Okay. You can you can find it on you can find it elsewhere too though. Let me just do this. Yeah. Uh, Here's where you can find it. Karen. When you say okay. When I when you hit I'm a user, is that the student? Yes. Okay. But you can You're, also go to So you can also sorry, I was saying um you can also go to um LR and oh but there are links here all over the place to these two. There's that. But if you go to this address, right? Yeah. Um national dash writing dash project yeah after a slash o slash o standing for organization got it organization right you can find them there too but for the students right um I, I, let's um places we love should bring up two playlists we want to say we want you to do both of these. We want you to do the photos one first. So we're going to bookmark that. And we're going to come back and find the poems one. And we're going to bookmark that. All right. So next time they come in and log into LRNG, they will see, oh, I'm working on this. I'm working on my photos, and I'm working on my poems. Mm -hmm. Um, so should we go, is it okay to go through this? Yeah. So like we did that, okay. Um, so just, l l let me just read what's in this green box. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because what I would try to explain it, but it would probably take longer. <laughs> there are two places we love playlists. This, this one where we ask you to post photos of a place you love. And the second one where you will be invited to work with a mentor to read place poems and to write, revise, and post a poem of your own about a place you love. Mm. So we suggest you do them in that order. You will have an opportunity to share and connect with peers and writing project mentors and then create a portfolio from your work. All right. So obviously, if it's an important place and a place they love, they're going to have to go out and do that on their own at yeah. some point. So just keep that in mind. But we split this into two playlists. It was originally one because we found it like longer ones are hard for kids to finish. <laughs> and we want to give quick success. That's one thing. But also whoever 
assesses this playlist will help them through the next one is our thinking. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that may be you or it may be me or, you know, it could yeah. be somebody else in the writing project. We can figure that out. Mm. Okay. So the first XP is to write this they could do in class, right? Open yes. Mm. Um, make a list. Yes. Choose mm. one and tell stories you associate with that place. Share feelings you have about it. So stories, feelings, description, sensory description. Yeah. So just some quick writing. It's really about thinking through the place they want to yeah. take a photograph in or take a series of photographs, really, I think. But so take photos now. There was, well, remember our goal here. Oh, I should go back. Always important. And they should be thinking, you should show them to think about this too. Always important to kind of go down into what are now called instructions. Okay. Um, what we're inviting you to make, right? Mm -hmm. A Google document about a place in your community. It sort of repeats everything up above. But Be it sure makes to make your doc public. Yeah. And here's how to do it. Okay. And, and then, then they have to you... share a web link over here. Okay. This this is sometimes confusing to use, by the way. Like they're given four choices here, so that's why these instructions are here. And the, there are four choices, so. But they're not uh, really. <laughs> we want them to, after you've made your copy, the share link under the blue share button in your doc and paste it as a URL, as a web link here. Okay. So that's right. why it's confusing. It looks like choices, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the um, writing of the text uh, is actually the first choice they should make. No, no right. open a new Google Doc that's empty. Right. And write in it. There are always two steps. In the top stuff, it's what you do. In the bottom stuff is how you turn it in. Got it. Right. Okay. Um, and the, Ellen is working on the interface here so that all these choices don't show up. But this is what we're, we can, we can teach around it pretty easily, I think. Okay. All right. Um, or you can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Take photos, right? So the idea here is that to get them to start thinking about just different perspectives, you know, right? Cool. Um, there is some, there was some question of why not provide them with some mentor text here. You can think about doing that if you want to, like, you know, different photographs. There is a, um, does this article show up? What happens in this article? No, oh, there are a couple of things they can go to. My feeling is, though, again, our goal is to get some photographs and get them up fast. Okay. Here's like from but, below. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. They can look at this fast kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um and and to take not just one in that place they love, but you know, a ser a, a bunch of them. <coughs> um but upload one of your photos. <laughs> Sorry. So you know, they're choosing one. Mm -hmm. What we want you to make your best image from a set of photographs you took at a place you love. I think that's clear, right? Mm -hmm. So th this time they do upload a photo. See that? Mm -hmm. um, choose the file. So they need to get it on the computer somehow to upload. They, they could actually use their phone to do it too. They email it to themselves. Mm -hmm. Or they, t uh, they email it to themselves, then they, and the upload, uh, upload photo, photo will then be from their email. They have to choose a file, and so that goes it. that goes to their hard drive of their yeah. computer. Right? Oh, there's Got an it. optional note. Interesting. 
Uh, it's taking a while. Okay. So there is that. Um, how much? Yeah. Well, okay. So, well, I, I as as we're going through the each of these XPs, I'm kind of thinking that we want them to have a sense of the whole too, right? So they should see that they're going to write about a place, they're going to take photos, then they're going to post the photos, and then they're going to connect with other youth photographers. So the posting the photos is the third XP. And the key here is they have to use this hashtag, NWP places, mm. right? Okay. Um, and they have a choice now. They can either, it's not, they can't post it to anywhere, but they can post it to Instagram if they are comfortable with that. Um, they need to add a location if they do that, or they can post it as a discussion on Youth Voices. All of your kids have Youth Voices, so... I mean, they have accounts on Youth Voices. So, so not Snapchat. Right. So they're not Snapchat, not not um, Twitter, not, you know, there are lots of things that they can't do it on. But they can have those two choices. Right. Why and would they want to post it on Instagram or anyone anywhere else other than um, the Youth Voices? Just because we... Oh, they're making a link to, to it. Yeah, we're trying to give people options. Yeah. <laughs> it's really. So you can limit that option or not. Um, but there's really no need because they're going to be posting a link to it. Yeah. Right, exactly. I just want to see. Okay, so if they've done that properly, let me just make sure of this. Yeah. So now um, I think there's what's up here is only a couple of examples. Examples? Sorry, my voice. <clears throat> but what happens is that even if it's on Instagram, it's going to end up on this page, right? Anything tagged in WP places oh. will come here. Anything on Instagram that's tagged in WP places will also come if that works. Yeah. We'll also come to this page. I think it will. It's just taking time. I'll double check that. So that's the idea. They'll find each other's photos that way. Now, I don't know how much of a... Uh, let's see. Why isn't that working? I'll double check it. I don't know how much of a diversion this is from your poetry class, but that's worth thinking about, right? Yeah. Um, um, but let's keep going. I think it's um, worth it. It's uh, mm -hmm. um, it'll bring them their selves into the class it, uh, more. Okay, I think so too. I just, you know what? I think it's working, but I think my internet is slow. It always gets used up by. The hangout. Okay, but let's go back and see if I can find on our dashboard. I can't do anything right now. <laughs> All right. So that was fun last week to talk to David Nicodula, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was right. great. Um, okay, I'm back to places we love. But am I showing that on my screen? Probably. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see. No, oh, but this is different. <coughs> All right. It looks like my internet is allowing me to go here now. Why does it say up above? Sorry, there's nothing here. Oh. By cleaning. Um, those Sorry. Those are good. That's very what good created, question. Right. So once you start, once you start submitting things, mm. um, these, it will hop up here, and it will also show you you have one of three XPs done. Cool. Right. So yeah, it's a it's a nice little dashboard there. It keeps track of things that way for you. 
Let's look at places we love poems. Um, one of the things you and I could think, so design this with the idea that there, there are, what's flashing here are LRNG cities, right? Mm. So these are cities where um, there are, there's an LRNG project going on. So Birmingham, Washington, Detroit, Kansas City, Nebraska, West Sacramento, Columbus, Madison, Philadelphia, Jose. No, Jose. New York? No, New York is not there. So, and I say that to say that's one of the things we could play with a little bit. But this one is harder, um, but maybe a little more in the wheelhouse of a poetry class, right? Yeah. The idea is that they will first, well, let's look at the overall. Um, they'll choose a mentor poem, right? from um, a set of them that we put on now comment. Cool. Your kids are familiar with now comment, so that's cool. Um, they'll write a poem of their own, they'll recite the poem out loud. Given that they've done their bio, that, that's something they'll be kind of familiar with. Um, then they'll publish their poem with a hashtag again, and they'll connect with other youth poets this time. Right? And that's all in one XP. That's all in one, no, that's all in one playlist. Okay. That's a good question. So in the first one, there is our poems, our places, our poems, and hopefully the internet will cooperate. But you could think of, and we could put up an add to this. It says this at the bottom. You can also find your own place poem and upload it to now comment. So we could think of a New York one and put it here. That would be a fun thing to do, probably. So here's what they do, right? Do you want to read it? So Choose it's not my one. voice. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Go for it. Um, perhaps one from your city or community. Then follow these steps. Listen to the poem, one. Play the video or audio or explore the map of the place in the poem. So listen to the poem. Um, listen, so whether it's audio or video, um, just listen to it and mm -hmm. explore the map of the place in the poem. So there is a map given? Yeah, some of them have maps, some of them have videos, some have audio. So that's the idea is that there's some midi media that they'll work with. Okay, um, click on that poem. Yeah, oh, it came up finally, good. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, cool. Then two. Um, read the poem carefully again and again, annotated a few times. So the annotating, how do they do it? And now, oh, comment. now comment. Yeah, Three. so your, your kids will be cool with that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. They will be. Three, look for the poetry idea. The one thing about um, the frontier for, the next frontier for my students in now comment is mm -hmm. to make the full box fuller. Uh, yeah. to make their comments longer, but yeah. they'll be good with that. Three, look for the poetry idea behind the poem. Pretend that the poet was given an assignment and <laughs> the poem was what he, she, you should add they, right. what okay. he slash she slash they turned in. What was the assignment? Uh, this is the so-called poetry idea that you might try out yourself in the next XP. So, Okay, so you are using the, the words poetry idea instead of something that a kid might not get, like prompt or? Yeah, because there isn't an actual prompt. They're looking for the- Right, it's not an assignment. Yeah, idea. Yeah. Four, analyze the poetic devices used and the poetic form of the poem. Check with your mentor or teacher if you need help with this. Make comments about these aspects of your mentor poem on now comment. So those. Um, now you as the teacher could break this down and, you know, sorry, you were going to say something. Those links um, yeah. where it says for poetic devices. And yeah, what's uh, in there? They're not great, but um, I think they're, they come from. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah. However, I want to use my. I want to use mine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
which which um and and or um if they're working with a mentor right yeah who has who has already approved their photograph yeah badge uh, you know maybe that person will have a, an idea the point is to not to um no it went there good so let's look at these briefly just to get a sense remember the cities that were flashing up there Birmingham, so, san jose right so there's a ballad of birmingham right um and then there's a video that isn't related to the poem but it's about uh the park there um outside of the church yeah All right and then there's uh this park in san jose there's a, actually a flyover of the park but the poem is kind of is is very um i can look at it Let's look at this one. i can uh, see if i can pull that up yeah. I can, uh, I can make sure to invite your class to this, which we should do. The poem, which was written in 1895 about that park, right, mm. has, has I, I, I don't even know the structure of it, but it has a particular structure, right? One companion, peace, canyon, yeah, trees. So the idea is that they'll get a sense of what a place poem is by looking through these. This one in Sacramento. And the quality of the poems. Oh, Yusuf. Uh, Say again? I'm looking at the author. Which one? So, um, Yusuf Kominyaka. Um, Oh, but you wrote this by Paul Allison? No. No, no, no. You Which one? The, yeah, um, it just means I post. Facing it, facing it, Washington D.C. Yeah, yeah. So the and the idea. Brooks. Yeah, the idea is that that there are there are there's a variety, <laughs> is what we were aiming for. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, what about the? Sorry. No, no. So so this one represents Chicago, right? There are two yeah. poems by Gwendolyn Brooks. And then this one is from Springfield, Ohio, a swimming hole there. Also kind of very different, but you actually see the poet reading it. Mm. Um, and then there's Kansas City, gets to play with jazz, right? And there's a love letter to Philadelphia, which is written by, she was at the time the, the um, poet laureate of Philadelphia. Anyway. Um, I'm curious, under that one, the um, Yolanda Wishers, there's yeah. no poem. Yeah, there is actually. This Dear Philly, Sonia was always, this is her poem. Okay, you just have it's, to it's, it's a, It's a, the, the images kind of look funny, make, break it up a little bit, but. Oh, it says read more in common. So then her thing comes up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get to hear her read it too, I think. Mm. So, but this is this is a letter poem, right? So it's not. Again, the 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 goal was to kind of suggest all sorts of possibilities. Okay. Right. And you and I should come up with a New York one. That would be fun to do. Yeah. And we can just add it to this list. There is one from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> One from Wisconsin, and one from Nebraska too. Anyway, the, but the point is, they're all they're all place poems, and I think they need to understand that. Mm. Cool. Get a sense of what that is. It is hard, right? I, in that, I, they're going to need help with it. Definitely worth it. This graphic um, on the page yeah. that you were just there, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. How did you get that? That Griff, I don't know, I just searched for it. <laughs> All right, let's, I'm looking at the clock and thinking that, okay, we should try to get through this. So this poetic device and poetic forms comes back. Yeah. This idea that, okay, write a place po a poem of place, about a place that's important to you, model your poem on one of the poems from here. Got it. So you just spent the time, use the poetry idea behind the metro poem, 
you chose an XP1, pretend that the poet was given assignment. We've heard this before, right? But it reminds them that that's what they're doing. Right. Um, and they're doing it in a Google document, and they're Got turning it. in a Google document. So mm -hmm. that so this takes a longish time. Well, what you mean I, writing I, it does? A, a little longer, uh, partly because um, they may not feel comfortable. What if they don't feel comfortable uh, making a public, making it public, publishing it? Um, uh, when it's just a first draft, I, they're not publishing it. They're right. just, however, yeah. So it's kind so of complicated. It's kind of complicated because we do want to see a draft of the poem, mm. right? So, and I found you usually do understand this, but the issue you just brought up is true. We do want to see a draft of the poem. And it, we do ask them to make it public, but it's not published. It's only public because later that then they can use it in their portfolio. Yeah. Right. So, look, if they want to skip, if somebody doesn't want to do it that publicly, that's fine. We can figure that out. Um. Hopefully, that won't be an issue. But the the so the writing, um would uh, um, the uh, the process of writing th like this particular XP makes it sound like okay you write it um, without uh, the writing process well uh, so uh, we're, okay, so let's look at the next XP and see if that still feels. We we're trying to we we're trying to grab into the, some a process, right? Yeah. And so what oh, we've yeah. asked them to do here is to read the poem that they've written. Yeah. So they get to the end of their first draft, maybe without a lot of process, right? Except that they have a mentor poem in mind. So yeah. That. Um. But now we're asking them to read, record, and revise. That's cool. So, right, we're asking them to record the poem using online recorder again, or Vocaroo, and then upload that recording, right? In the verbiage, the description of the prior XP, can mm -hmm. there be um, more, uh, um, can there be more, can it say your first draft, upload your first draft? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That would be very helpful. Okay. And then do you want to? I can, we can change what's above, but I wonder if, yeah, well here, look, what to turn in. Oh, it says it a draft. Complete first draft of your poem of place. Does yeah. it set up, write a poem in place? But we could put first draft up here too. Yep. This we can add it. This down here we can't very easily. We can. But already says that. Yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I can make that change. Okay. We good with that? Yeah, as long as Try first draft on. is prominent there. Yes. Yep. So we invite you to read the poem you've written and allowed to a group. Record your poem. Revise the poem based on the listener's response, right? On whose listen, which, which listeners? Well, read the poem you have written to allowed to a group. Ah. Written allowed a group to a group. I'll fix that. <laughs> okay, every time we go through here, I find another thing, but I'll fix it. Read the poem you have written aloud. Okay. Yeah, I'll fix it. Read the poem you have written to a aloud to a group is what it should say. Can I edit it right here? I can't. I'll fix that later. But that will say that. Um, record your poem, your place poem on your phone or use the online and play it back to yourself. Listen. Right. So the idea is that by recording it, by reading it out loud, they'll get ideas for, for revision. Nice. Right? And we then have a record of that too, right? For their portfolio. Of the draft? Of the recording. We have the draft in the in the, this XP. 
then we have the recording. Yeah. Now, <laughs> we ask them to post the revised poem either on Instagram, if that's where they're working, or on Youth Voices. And they need to use NWP places again. I would so really. So it ends up on that page. What? Um. So if they post on Instagram, then does it not? Doesn't it not enrich uh, youth voices? Like. Yeah, but we were designing this so anybody from anywhere could do it, I and they, they don't necessarily have an account on Youth Voices. Yeah. So we want them to have another way to do it. Okay. So with your kids, they're on Youth Voices. You can just say, yeah, why don't you just do it on Youth Voices? <laughs> it makes sense to, to have it either one and for me to recommend yeah. one. Although if they're a big Instagram, you know, that place, that, that's, a, that's a good thing too. And frankly, they could do it in both, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. So there's that. They get that posted with that. Um, hashtag and it ends up on let's see if that page shows up anymore places we love shows up on this page same page that had their photographs on it is now also going to have their um yeah there it is here's a here's an instagram post mm. um so the poems and the images will be here they can figure out well they'll figure it out whether or not to include the images with their poem, that's really up to them. <laughs> huh. I think by then they'll figure that out. Um, where am I trying to get back to? The, oh, orange tree. Okay, so now we're asking them to go to Youth Voices, go to the Places We Love page, right? Look carefully at two or three, and then use the comment, then comment on, which they're familiar with from that first day, uh, that first playlist, right? So then they turn in their comment that they put on, right? And they get uh, this badge, places we love poems. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I don't want all this crass. It doesn't matter. Um, so what are you thinking? <laughs> Why does the badge say have a B, the white badge on the left? That's just um, a place marker for a badge. Yeah, that's all it is. Got the badge it. is right here. Yeah, that's a pretty badge. Yeah. Um and the photo one looks similar. Um, so what will happen is those badges will end up on this page. I, I just clicked on the My Work page, and all of the work that they've turned in, this is different work, but all of the work that they've turned in for each of those XPs mm. ends up here too. Cool. So it kind of organizes for them. And then they write their poetry portfolio, right? Ta -da. Now, how this fits into your larger project, I don't, you know, with collecting, I'm not sure, but. So can you hit preview yeah. for one of the portfolios? That's yeah, I, instead of that, I, I think this is better, right? Yeah, I've, I've shown this to you before, I think, but. Yeah. So. This is what, this is, yeah. So how that badge work fits into this work is something we have to figure out yet. <laughs> but the idea here is that they will have annotated some poetry and literature. They'll be performing some poetry, writing some poetry, and having conversations. Now, what we've just gone through gives them one thing for each of these categories, right? Can you say that again? So. Oh, sorry. What, so yeah. What I, we've just gone through it gives them. So in, um, so they annotated the um, mentor text. Yeah, they, of their they annotated a mentor text, so that would go here. Yeah, go ahead. 
then they um, uh, performed, they read, they made an audio recording of their own poem. Right. And then they wrote. Uh, they didn't really write about poetry, did they? No, there's no close reading. Uh, there's plenty of, but that's okay if it's not in this particular assignment. Yeah. And the thing underneath that, um, conversations. Yeah. Uh, they did. Well, they, they did. did comment. Yeah. Yeah, they did a comment. Um, yeah. So just quickly checking, I mean, you, you had more categories than that, but yeah. So we have to work that out. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, but so, but, but, so let's give ourselves three minutes to kind of say with the, we have the portfolio project in mind. Right? Yes. But the real question is to get them going here. Right. Yes. So like, yeah, okay. So to do three of these would be l like not fitting in in eighty minutes. Oh, what do you mean to do three? No. So let's talk about time. So I, um, in eighty minutes, I would say. Um, I think this one takes two days to do. There you go. Two eighty minutes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think, especially since they have some writing done already, right? Yeah. And the thing that slows them down is the recording. Oh. Right. But I because would they need to they need a private place, a quiet place. Or courage. And courage. <laughs> yeah. But again, I want to say that you can go ahead and say, just post it on Youth Voices without the audio first, and then we'll go back and put the audio up when you're ready for it. Yeah. So that's worth saying. Um, Another question? Yeah, sure. Um, it, it invites them to join a bio or a bio group or a bio L group. So which, so I do in the first. They're, they're more or less the class, same thing. I have. Yeah. Um, three uh, uh, English language learners. Uh huh. So I can. So they might be interested to go to the L ones because they're more about the L ones tell a story of immigration. Right? Wow. As as some of their paragraphs. Yeah. So that's nice to really? be involved in that way. Yeah. yeah. Although it would so, be good for the other kids to, to see that too. They should, I'm going to um, invite them to yeah. uh, look at both and make their own choice. <laughs> Sounds good. I think you can go as slow as, or fast as you want, but I would keep in mind the goal is that they, they get a complete experience of drafting you know, recording something and posting it and then commenting on somebody else's. Yeah. So you wouldn't want this to go more than a week. Yeah. I, I, assuming no. you're doing other things too, is what I mean. Right. Right, yeah. And then it seems to me like the photos thing, a lot of it is, so much of it is their own, they have to go out and find their own photos, right? Once you homework, right? Yeah, I think so. Once you once they establish their story that they want to do, then they got to go make the photograph. And when they do that, then it sort of all f follows from there. Yep. So, so I don't know how long that one takes. But Why can't that? It could be for quick. Yeah. What they're posting their poems, and then can you go down? Uh, again, then they're writing to other people who have posted photos. Yeah, they're they're yeah. Um, they're writing about an important place. They're taking the photos. They're posting the photos, and then they're doing common commentary. Yeah, so you know, it, it would one. be it would be beautiful if they did these two in one week. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um, and then the poems one is going to take longer. So, I mean, that's sort of why we pulled it off. 
we want them to have the quick success, but then we also want rigor, right? So <laughs> if, or whatever, if we want, like you said, process and thoughtfulness. When you say pulled it off, meaning pulled Sorry. the part into three. Uh, no, orig originally this places we love had the photographs and the, had everything in, it, it ended up being like seven XPs. Yeah. In it. Yeah. All right. Question? <laughs> yeah. Uh, about the um, poems, um, the mentor poems, I want um, a certain, I want them to be, um, uh, Poems that are worth, you know, that they can learn something from, as opposed yeah. to just. I want it to be um, good writing. My, I chose these. So, <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I, we, yeah, I mean, there, were, there is the limitation that we had to find something about Springfield, Ohio, right? right? But, but I actually like this poem. Um, yeah, so that is the idea. The idea is that, but the idea, and I don't know how to do this, the idea is that they'll see different possibilities. Yeah. So there's Phil Levine, up. there's Kuzer, there's Kuminaka, right. there's I mean, Brooks. These are great. And this started with the Kuzer one, because Kuzer is sort of, this. so this is Nebraska, is sort of the go-to poem for place poetry, right? Oh. Um, so, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, but thinking about, sorry, go here. but um, where was it? Oh, like A Song in My Front Yard mm. is, is a really wonderful poem about a place, but it's so, there's so much more going on there. Yeah. You know? So I think, I hope they see that. But you should think about what is in your curriculum already that you want to put on this list. And you could point them to that one, you know, or those two or three. It's easy. I'll make you an administrator here, and you can just add another document. Okay. We'll figure that out together. Okay? Yeah. So, cool. So, on... Um, oh, yeah. Friday, so we, we want to do the um, bios. We want um, we want to do the bios... Um, uh, all within one week. Then the <laughs> photos and the poem um, ideally would be within one week. Um, it, uh, so, and the bios we would start with, so we would start it on Friday. The question is, um, uh, what about the time for them to post the poems that they've already written. Yeah. Oh, this is, um, we need to I didn't hear that last question. Go ahead. The poems that they've already written, the, so they've, some of them have posted, um, you assisted. Um, yeah. I need to assist, uh, do some of that also. But, um, so they, they're gonna have two things to do on Friday, post the poems that they've already written and um, begin the bio work. Sorry, you're, you're freezing, oh. or I am. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I heard you. Do you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. As finally. Up. Sounds right, and and I I think it's good to be having two things going on because some kids will have their poems up already and yeah. others won't, and great, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Good planning session. Thank you. <laughs> See you Friday. Okay. Yep. Bye. Bye.